See, this is what a house should look like. I know. He's such a boy. He, is. he loves cars and trucks and anything oh. with wheels, just like his mom. <laughs> I've been crawling all over the floor playing race cars with him. Oh, so fun. So cute. You know, I should invite my boy, you know, Patrick, <laughs> my husband, over to play with him. He yeah. loves race cars. I have to tell you something. Lucian is so smart and funny. You seem really happy. Yeah, I yeah. am. Really happy. Everything's, you know, perfect. But... Except well, there's Carly. And oh, no. There's... What does she do now? Um, she is trying to accuse me of cutting Sonny's children out of his life. Why would she say that? Uh, well, it is true that I asked everybody for a little bit of, you know, time to ourselves while Lucian was adjusting. And, uh, I mean, I just didn't want to overwhelm him with too many faces. I don't know if it was the wrong thing no, to no, do. No, no, that but... makes sense. No, but now she's huge change. Exactly. Him. Right? But now this girl... He's trying to portray me as the evil stepmother who doesn't want Sonny's kids to contaminate well, my son. Carly trying to create drama and doesn't surprise me. I know, and I, I shouldn't even let it bother me, but I actually, I kind of feel like Sonny's buying into it a little no, 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 bit. No, 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 don't let Carly make you paranoid. No, Sonny do. is loyal to you. No, I'm telling you, he is holding back a little bit. How so? I don't know, I mean, he's sweet with Lucian and does all the right things, but he just seems distant. If I can't get him to love my son as much as I do. This is what I hate about Carly. Everyone knows that she's horrible. And we see right through her. But somehow she makes us doubt ourselves. No, no, no. But listen to what I'm saying. Sonny is holding back from Lucian. He is. Maybe because Lucian is new in his life. Or Thank maybe you. because Carly is making Sonny choose between his two families. Sonny wouldn't do that. <clears throat> have a little bit more faith in your hmm. husband. Okay, I do that. I do have faith in my husband. But here, here's, here's the truth. <laughs> hmm. uh, okay, he is already making me feel like I am being pushed out of his family with Carly. Oh, no, don't no, no, no. take Carly's bait. No, no, no. I'm telling you, uh, you, something's going on with Michael. He's in some kind of trouble. I don't know if you know anything about it. Okay, well, Sunny Snarky Lawyer sat here, and she said that she was instructed not to give out any details about Michael's troubles to me. Did you ask Sonny about Yeah, of course that? I asked Sonny. You know I confronted him about everything. And he said that he was being handled. He kind of brushed it off. He said that um, Carly is very volatile right now, and he doesn't want to upset her, so it would be really helpful for him if I stayed out of it. Sounds like Sonny's trying to please everyone. Well, I'm not into it. Uh, Michael is not Sonny's biological son any more than Lucian is. So, why does he have such a soft spot for Michael and not for Lucio? Okay, okay, I know it's hard to not take this personally, but maybe this is not about Sonny choosing Carly's kids over yours. Do you think that maybe Sonny's just you know, afraid to open his heart to one more child? Sonny is cautious by nature. You know, I mean, Suzanne shows up out of the blue, has this three-year-old little boy, and says mm -hmm. it's your son. Yeah, I know, I know, but, you know, she, she kept Lucian a secret to protect him from Theo, so that's why she did I that. I understand that, but she also pretended she was your friend and told you that your son was dead. Yeah, I know, but I, I you know, doubted every word that's come out of this woman's mouth. I didn't just accept her story blindly. I know, you should trust your instincts. All I'm saying is that... On some level, maybe Suzanne is still angry with what happened with her son. Yeah, you know, of, co of course she's... Even if you did it in self-defense. I know, of course she's angry about that, of course, but why the hell would she do this? I mean, this is her grandchild, and I didn't even know about him, so she could have just taken off with him. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you know, I think it's that this woman really loves her grandchild, you know, and she wants him to be with his real mother. What does Sunny think? Well, Sunny wants to check her story out and make sure that Lucian is mine. Well, then you can do that. That's easy. Get a simple DNA test and put Sonny's mind at ease. Yeah, Lucian's my son. And I just know it, you know? In my heart, in my gut. I mean, I don't need a DNA test to prove to me. Uh, uh, but I'm maybe, certain. I'm just so certain. Maybe you need to prove it to Sonny. I know, but uh, that makes me feel like he doesn't trust my gut instinct. I don't think it has anything to do with that. He loves you, and he wants to protect you. Just in case Suzanne is lying about this thing. Why would she thing. lie about this at this point? That doesn't even make any sense. I don't know, but just 
show Sonny that you are willing to address his fears. You know, meet him halfway. It's a simple blood test. You're right. I mean, I guess if it's gonna make him feel better, I should just do it, right? You should just do it. It's no big deal. I can set it up the lab for But you. what if after the blood test and, and, and then we know for sure that Lucian's my son, he still continues to act kind of distant with him? Brenda, it's not gonna happen. <laughs> you are the love of his life. I am. You're his wife now. <laughs> Okay. All right, let's take the test. Okay. I'm coming. Ugh. Are you kidding? I wouldn't miss it. The chance to bake cookies with my grandson? He's really excited. I'll bet. Baking cookies with Lucian is a contact sport. Yeah, I bought us enormous aprons. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, what, what I really um, want to say to you is that... I know Sonny hasn't exactly been making you feel welcome lately. Oh, Brenda. Your husband loves you, and he's fiercely protective, and that's as it should be. No, it's very generous of you. Look, he knows how much Theo hated you, and, and it's only natural that he would think that I would feel the same way. It's got to be hard for him to accept that Theo and I went our separate ways, and uh, you and I became closer. And then I reunited you with Lucian. I can't tell you how much it means to me to be able to be with my son again. Well, you just give Sonny some time. and I'm sure when he sees how happy you and Lucian are, he will soften up toward me. Actually, I don't want Sonny to have any doubts about you or Lucian, so I've made a decision, and I have found a way to fix all of that. nice of you to want to smooth things over between Sonny and me, but why don't we just let it happen on its own? Uh, well, <laughs> I don't think it will. Well, let's wait and see. Oh, trust me, as long as Sonny has, you know, doubts or any reservations about you, uh, it, it's, in fact, it will get worse before it gets better. Oh, he doesn't strike me as a man who responds well to being pushed. <laughs> That would be the understatement of the year. Um, Sonny thinks that you have an agenda, you know. But guess what? You can't fight facts, right? So I'm just going to have Alicia take a DNA test.